If you're looking for a simple way to track billable hours on a project, try using the Billable Hours field. Tracking billable work done for your customers is one of the main reasons to use Tempo Timesheets, and there are two ways that you can do it. Using Tempo Billable Accounts, or using the Billable Hours field. It's recommended that you use either one or the other method depending on your JIRA setup and company needs. Here's a quick look at each method. Tempo Accounts are like a high-level organizer for categorizing all the time that's logged by your employees including billable time. If your work is spread across multiple JIRA projects and several teams, using billable accounts lets you slice and dice the time across these JIRA projects. Accounts also provide rich data for running reports later on. And you can find out how to use billable accounts in a previous video. But in this video, we'll look at how to use the billable hours field. This is a single field that lets you enter your billable hours when you log your time. Then you can run a report on these billable hours, which can be the base for an invoice that you send to your customer. And then they pay you, which is your goal. If you need a simple way to track billable time on a per JIRA project basis, this is it. Let me show you how we use this method at our company called the Apollo Consulting Group. We're a small group of lunar environmental consultants, and our current project is for our customer, Lunar Industries. We'll be doing an environmental sustainability assessment of their Helium-3 mining base on the Moon. We're a pretty organized bunch and use one JIRA project for each of our customers. And this is our current work being tracked in this project called Lunar Sustain. The reason we work with single JIRA projects is because the billable hours field is controlled at the JIRA project level with the set billable hours permission. So first things first, my team of consultants and I need to have the set billable hours permission for this project. I'm the project manager but also have JIRA administrator permissions. So to grant this permission, I go to my project settings and permissions and open this billable hours permission scheme, and then edit its permissions. I created this permission scheme to be used only for projects that need to use billable hours. Having a separate permission scheme is a good way to control which projects can use the set billable hours permission, and keeps it separate from the default permission scheme. I'll scroll way down to the set billable hours permission, and I'll grant it to this project role called Consultants, which contains those of us who are working on this project. So what does this permission do? It makes the billable hours field appear in the log time form for only those of us with this permission. And then we can log our billable hours to an issue in this field. Apart from the usual JIRA project access permissions, that's pretty much it for the setup. So let's switch gears now and head into Tempo Timesheets. And I can do that just by pressing the G and T keys. And we land on the My Work page, which is the home base for Timesheets. I'll click the Teams icon and show you my team of environmental consultants who are working on this project. Myself, Eric, Scott, and Vivian. And now I'll show you how we log our time. I'll go back to My Work and go to Today. I like to use the Activity Feed feature so I can see suggestions of the JIRA issues that I've opened or worked on. I'll click the Edit icon on this issue suggestion to open the log time form. The duration needs to be changed since it's definitely more than 15 minutes that I worked on it. But here's the important part. I click Show Hidden Fields and see the Billable Hours field. And remember that this shows up because I have the set billable hours permission for this JIRA project. I'll be filling out this field a lot, so I'm going to customize my log time form by clicking the gear icon up here. And then drag billable hours into the visible field section and click save. I'll just close this form and then reopen it to show that the billable hours field is now visible. That will make logging time a lot faster. I'll enter three hours as the total time I worked on this issue, 
And notice that the billable hours update to be the same amount of hours, which is often what you want. But sometimes it's not. In this case, only two out of the three hours I did were actually billable work, so I'll change that. So I'll click log time, and I'm done with that issue. Here I've created a plan for this other issue, so I can just click it and then log my billable hours. I don't need to change them for this issue. As a team lead, I can easily check that the billable hours entered by my team are correct by going to my team's overview and then clicking timesheet up here. I see the logged hours here for March, but more work was done in February. So I'll just go back a month up here and that's a few more logged hours. To see the billable hours, I'll open the menu up here and check billable. And now I see that column. And these are the hours that we logged in the billable hours field, like I just did. When this project is over, I generate a report with this information and more that I can save and export. And to do that, I need to create a real report. To verify that the hours are accurate in this report, I'll first make sure that the timesheet period is closed and everyone's timesheet has been approved and locked. So to create a report that I can save and export, I click the Reports icon and click Log Time since that's the data that I need. In the Report Wizard, I want to first filter the data in this field by selecting Projects and then checking Lunar Sustain. Now I can group this filtered data. User happens to be selected already, which is great, and I will add issue. This way the time log to each JIRA issue is grouped under each consultant's name. I click create, and the report shows up. The logged hours are displayed for the current month, but the work that I want for the report was done last month. So I just click the date picker up here to open the calendar, and then click last, and month. This creates a dynamic period report where the date shown is always for the last month relative to the current date. I click apply and now see all the hours logged by each consultant to the issues in this JIRA project for last month. I'm seeing just an overview right now but I want more details so from this menu up on the right I'll change to weeks and that displays the breakdown of hours per week. And while I'm here, I'll check the billable option, just like I did in my team's timesheet. Again, these are the hours that we logged in the billable hours field, which is what I really want to see here. I can easily compare the log versus billable hours worked by each consultant and on each issue. And importantly, I can see the total billable hours done by the whole team for this month. There's one more level of detail that I need to include in this report and I can add that in the Group By field, and that's Work Log. Lunar Industries needs to see each work log, which is an individual time record of the hours logged each day for each JIRA issue. And there are a lot of time records. Now I'll save this billable report to keep this data the way that I've set it up. So I click Save up here, and change the report title to Billable Hours, Lunar Sustain Monthly. A note reminds me that this is a dynamic report for the last month. Dynamic reports make it easy to create templates since the data is always relative to the current date. So I can simply run this report every month without having to set it up each time. And that makes my life easier. I'll click Save Report and I'm all done. I'll return to the Reports page and see it here in the Saved Reports section. I forgot to share this report, so I'll click its tile to open it up again, and click Share up at the right. I'll enter John's name, who's in our finance team, and also Eric, Scott, and Vivian, since they worked on this project too. They all have the same permissions as I do to view the time records so they can also see the data in this report. John also needs to have this report in a spreadsheet format. So I click Export up at the right and select XLS Report Data, which saves the spreadsheet in the Excel format. 
All the data from my report is in this file, and I can now send it to John. He brings it into the financial software and does his accounting magic to create an invoice. Then he sends this invoice of billable hours to Lunar Industries. So that's how you can use the billable hours field to easily track your billable time on a JIRA project. Then you can run a report on the project's billable hours as a base for invoicing your customers and then getting paid by them.